Hey everyone, welcome back to Sarah's Vegan Kitchen. Today I'm gonna show you what I eat in a day specifically for clearing up your skin. I mentioned a couple videos back that my skin kind of freaked out for a few weeks there. I think just because of the stress of moving and finding replacement tenants for the old place and all those little details. And anytime my skin freaks out, I have kind of a list of things that I'll do. I'll change about my diet and lifestyle to help calm it down. And I'm happy to say that I have like a couple of little active spots and that's pretty typical for me, but everything else you're seeing now um, is either like hyperpigmentation or scarring from previous acne and everything else is clear so I'm very happy about that there's a lot of information in this and what works for me might not work for you these are just lots of suggestions lots of tips you can try out see what works for you and I'm working with care of on this video I've worked with them before they make supplement packets and I'll tell you more about them later um, but I hope that you enjoy this video I like to minimize my caffeine intake when my skin's acting up, so I had a decaf coffee this morning, and lately I've been preparing my coffee by adding it to a blender, along with some sort of mushroom powder. Today, specifically, I chose chaga because it boosts immunity and it reduces inflammation, so it's great for your skin. I've also been adding a teaspoon of maca powder, which helps to regulate hormones, and a lot of adult acne tends to be hormonal. Now if you refrigerate a can of full fat coconut milk for a few hours or overnight, the cream will float to the top and it'll separate and harden. So I do that and then I scoop out a few spoonfuls of that cream into my coffee along with a splash of almond milk and then I blend everything until it's nice and frothy. I've been leaning towards higher protein and fat rather than carb heavy breakfasts and today I took half a block of soft tofu and browned it a little bit in a non-stick skillet. I seasoned it with a little bit of onion and garlic powder along with a pinch of turmeric which is an anti-inflammatory spice. It's great for your skin and for maximal absorption it's best to consume it with a little bit of black pepper. On this day, I served my scramble with a whole small avocado chopped up, as well as some sliced cherry tomatoes. I topped it with my favorite garlic salt from Trader Joe's, along with some red pepper flakes, because I love my spice. And then I drizzled my tomato and avocado with a little bit of balsamic glaze, also from Trader Joe's. I love this meal especially because the high protein and healthy fat content helps keep me full, and it just keeps my energy levels nice and even until lunchtime. Maybe two-ish hours after my breakfast, I like to take my supplements because then I have a little bit in my stomach. Anytime I'm particularly broken out, I like to make sure I get lots of greens for my food and also by supplementing with a greens powder just for extra insurance. So today I made a little smoothie with my favorite milk, which is a coconut almond blend that has no added sugar. You definitely wanna avoid refined sugar when you are dealing with acne. So I add half of that milk and then half water and a half a scoop of my blessed salted caramel protein which I add less for the extra protein and more so just to make my smoothie taste good considering the greens powder is a little bit bitter and then I add a scoop of my amazing grass chocolate greens powder and I blend that all up and I pretty much just chug it to get it over with now that I'm hydrated and I have a little bit in my stomach, I like to take my vitamin packet from Care Of, who are kindly working with me on this video. Care Of sends you daily personalized vitamin packs, and the supplement aisle can be overwhelming, so Care Of simplifies everything with a short five minute quiz to specify your health goals, concerns, any allergies or dietary preferences, and then they send you a cute little package you can set on your nightstand or your kitchen counter, so it's super easy to remember to take them each day. I like to cycle out my supplements, but currently I'm taking vegan omega capsules for skin, hair, and nails, as well as some magnesium, which promotes healthy sleep and muscle recovery. And I also take rhodiola for mood and energy. This time around, they also sent me some booster packs with fast acting melatonin, since I do really struggle with insomnia and poor sleep and stress do a number on my skin. So these little packets are super helpful on those nights when I just cannot turn my brain off and fall asleep. If you want to try out Care Of, the plans start at $20 a month depending on what's in your particular box, but you can get 25% off your first month by clicking on the link in the description and using the code SARAH25. 
Sure you already know this, but hydration is key when you're trying to clear your skin and I personally don't enjoy drinking water all that much, so I've been having a lot of herbal tea. Usually I'll just keep rebrewing the same bag all day. And today I picked out a roasted dandelion tea, which is good for your liver and since your liver detoxifies your system, you definitely want to support it. When I'm broken out, I will usually try to have something with lots of greens and healthy fats for lunch. So today I made a salad starting with a bed of arugula. And because a lot of store-bought salad dressings are high in oil and sugar and sodium, I just went with a simple dressing of lemon juice, tahini, and salt and pepper. Then I added a nice helping of roasted pumpkin seeds for good fats and some extra zinc, which is great for healing acne. Roasted pumpkin seeds are kind of my recent obsession. They just taste so good. They add a nice crunch. And I also added a little helping of raw sauerkraut to get in some probiotics. Make sure you buy the kind that's raw. It's great for your gut health and gut health is so important for clear, healthy skin. And then finally, I added half of a baked sweet potato for some carbs and extra nutrients. And I do my best to avoid refined carbs if my skin's acting up so no bread no floury desserts definitely no refined sugar i try to get my carbs from whole sources like potatoes or sweet potatoes or whole grains as much as possible For dinner, I made a big coconut curry with a bunch of veggies I had in my fridge. So some cauliflower, peppers, mushrooms, onions, broccoli, some gold potatoes, and I added those to a wok, just threw in a can of full fat coconut milk and a little bit of extra water to thin out the sauce. And I added a good amount of curry powder, which contains cumin, coriander, turmeric, and I also added in some garam masala. And all of these spices I just love for reducing inflammation and improving digestion. So what I'm showing here is actually me eating the leftovers of the curry the next day. I, anytime I make curry, I just make a big batch because I feel like the flavors improve after it sits overnight. I had some of this vegan Indian eggplant dish that I got from Sprouts on the side, and it's not ideal to eat packaged food if you're trying to clear your skin, but the ingredients on this aren't too bad. There are very few, and I can read all of them, so I had a little bit of that on the side, and that was my full day of eating. That's an example of how I might eat when I'm trying to clear my skin. Lots of nutrients, lots of greens. I am pretty diligent with my supplements. I mean, I'm not always the best at taking my supplements every single day, but definitely when I'm sick or when my skin's messed up or when I'm feeling very stressed, I always, it's kind of like prompts me to get back on the, on the wagon there. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much to Carol for working with me on this and I will see you very, very soon. Bye. Are you riding? Say you're never from the side. Did I just walk through your shot? Oh wait, was that, was that the shot? I didn't realize that was the shot. I'm just like walking to the shot and I heard a new mate. Oh shit, I'm in the camera. <laughs> you're so stupid. <laughs>